Andy Paredes with Line 6 here at NAMM 2020, and we're introducing PodGo. So PodGo is the fifth generation pod. Uh, we started with Pod in the late 90s, and the whole idea with Pod was we wanted something simple to use that sounded great. And obviously Pod has had a lot of generations you know, in the past. PodGo being the fifth unit, we wanted to kind of return to the roots of what Pod was. Uh, so we're, we still got the great sounding stuff, uh, but we also have some really modern features that you're going to see here, as well as you know, models taken from the HX family of products. And it's also super mobile, just like the original Pod, you could grab it, throw it in a backpack, head out the door. It's kind of the same idea here. So, some of the modern features that you're going to notice that you'll see in other products that we do, like the Helix line and the HX family, uh, we have the color foot switches. So everything's color coded. It's using all the same models that you'd be familiar with if you're a Helix or an HX user, except three. So a couple of the drives and a delay. Uh, but as far as the signal flow, this is quite a bit different than in, in Helix or HX because. We found out from talking with end users, the majority of people just need a s serial signal path. They don't need parallel routing, they don't use multiple amps or cabs. So we said, okay, well, let's, let's simplify it, make life easier for people. So when you take a look and you're just kind of scrolling through here, you're going to notice certain things will auto assign no matter what. So volume and wall will always be there. Okay, uh, then right now we have a distortion. Here's the amp block. So you could either have amps or preamps. And then here you have the cab block for cabs or IRs. Or you can, you know, if you want, you can turn it off. You know, if you're gonna do something else, you can do that. Uh, and then when you go through here, you're always gonna have some sort of EQ. And then we have these couple flexible effects. So it's definitely easier to program than maybe other products. You know, and, and it's uh, less likely to get you in trouble. <laughs> you know, if you start doing weird parallel routing and you route it to some weird output that you're not really using, you can't do that here. Okay. okay. Uh, and even when when you go com completely, um, give me just a second here. So, for example, in in our preset list, you know, when you take a look at this, we have a full bank of factory presets. So it's going to be a lot of very similar presets. You know, the kind of like the four basic food groups. You know, the Fender esque, the Marshall esque, the Voxy stuff, and the High Gain. We've got that. We've got a bunch of uh, artist presets in here. Okay. We also have uh, some song-based presets, you know, so some of those classic songs with really unique tones. You know, we, we tried to dial it in as close as we could, at least, you know, in our studios. But then we also have this other option here, which is user presets. And that was another thing we found out from talking with end users. They like blank presets. A lot of people like to start from a blank slate. So that's actually what we do here. So every... The factory is almost completely full, but user is completely blank. Okay. So, so if we jump in here, you're going to notice. Here, let me uh, let me just show you the view. So when I scroll over here, there's always a volume. There's always a wah. We've got a couple blanks. That's our effects loop send and return. So you can use it or not use it. But you know, if I if I want to turn it on, you know, that, notice how that's already auto assigned. We have an amp and a cab and then we have our EQ. So those are the these are the things that are going to be in every single preset regardless Starting of... Starting from scratch again. Exactly. Get gotcha. It's already done, especially for people who are just getting up and running or they, they may be coming from an amp and pedal background and this is, you know, maybe moving to a modeler is a little much for them. This is going to help them a lot. It's be a lot easier to kind of set up and get Exactly. So, uh, but let, let's say, for example, I don't want my EQ there, I want to move it. If you're familiar with other Line 6 products, hit the action button, it brings it up. You can move this wherever you want, hit action again, it drops down. So that user workflow that you're used to from some of our upper tier, from the HX family and Helix family, a lot of that stuff's going to be very, very familiar. Yeah, perfect. Uh, that said, you know, HX especially uh, really isn't meant to be its own thing. It was meant to kind of work with other things, right? Like go on a pedal board. Uh, it's got MIDI jacks. It's It's got things that make it work with other things very well. This is really meant to be standalone. So you'll notice like it's a, po uh, it's a pod, so it has an expression pedal. Right. You know, uh, and when you take a look on the back, you'll see kind of the meat and potatoes. You know, like the, there's the stereo quarter inch out. There's the amp, direct amp out, which is 
is nice if you're going to a traditional amp. Okay. So there's a dedicated out for that. Uh, but what you're not going to see are things like um, XLR tracks. Uh, you know, you're not going to see VDI cable. You're not going to see MIDI. There is MIDI over USB. So if you want to connect to your Mac or PC and edit, you can do that. Uh, but really, the, the idea was this is its own deal. It's not meant to be connected to other things. So uh, to me, it, it, the sound quality is still as good as everything else that we make. It's just meant for a different use case and different user. Would it be using the same uh, the same engine as, as a Helix, let's say? It's the same model set from the HX and the Helix. So the, uh, obviously with it being a different build, yeah. things may change very slightly internally, but I mean, I, I think it sounds great. Awesome. awesome. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the great run through, man. <laughs> Happy to help. Appreciate it.